Hey guys, um, I am going to be doing a review of LED face light therapy in this video. If you've watched any of my previous videos, like skin related videos, you might be aware that I've suffered with rosacea for about two years now. It suddenly popped up and that was it, rosacea was part of my life. Um, and I, like honestly, my skin, particularly in the last six months, has fluctuated so much. It has been so hit and miss. I don't know what's going on with it really. I, I think some of it is hormonal. Some of it is my rosacea flaring back up for sure. Um, so yeah, I basically suffer with that. One of the treatments of rosacea is actually going for LED light therapy in like spas or laser clinics. Um, and I have actually been for a session before. I went for like a one-off session, so it didn't really do anything because it's like a continual thing that you need to use to strengthen your skin barrier and you just, you need to do it consistently basically. You can't just do it one-off and think it's gonna like help your issues. I was contacted by Current Body and they asked if I wanted to try their LED, um, LED mask and if I wanted to like give my opinion on it and I was like, absolutely yes i do um these are this is like completely my own opinion obviously because it's not like a sponsored post or anything like that um it's just an honest review of how my skin has um, reacted to it what i think about it etc so let's get into the nitty gritty shall we this is the packaging this is the current body skin you've i'm sure you've seen it on instagram I feel, feel like this is the brand that I always see. I even saw a post the other day and it was Millie McIntosh um, from Made in Chelsea and she was using this in um, just like a little get ready with me. Um, so yeah, the current body skin LED light therapy. Before I get into it, I'm gonna like tell you what the mask claims to do um, and then I can say whether I agree with it or not basically. So. Um, the Current Body Skin LED Therapy Mask uses two clinically proven wavelengths, red and near infrared, to reduce wrinkles by 35% in just four weeks. I've been using it for four weeks, so this is going to be a accurate review. 95% of users said their skin tone, texture and firmness improved. Um, safe to use on all skin types, um, 10 minutes, five times a week. Um, you have to use it after you've cleansed and exfoliated your, your skin. And then the expert like wording for it is. So I'll summarize it um, and not read it off. Basically, it proves to stimulate collagen in your skin which reduces the signs of wrinkles um, and basically encourages new cell renewal which will then in turn give you healthier, visibly healthier and fresher skin. Um, it also, it doesn't actually say it on here, but I know from the research that I've done, it's really beneficial for people who suffer with rosacea and with sensitive skin altogether. And I assume that's because of the um, cell turnover and you're strengthening your skin barrier with it. So that's what it claims to do. Um, I'll let you know if I think it's done that or not. But first off, I will show you the mask itself. The main attraction is the mask. This is what it looks like. It's like a it's silicone feel. Uh, and then on the back, it's that's where all the lights, these all the little dots are where the lights come on. And it's like um like a rubber, like your skin would get stuck on it. Um, it comes with this strap that you use. It's Velcro. So what you do is you thread it through one bit. You thread it through one bit, and then once you've got it on your face you'll put it through that section and then you can adjust it to how tight get out the long piece of hair and then you can adjust it to however tight you may need it so that's the overall view of the mask um, it comes with a cable and then it's charging pod so that's like activation pod really so what you do is you charge this I actually think that's the charging cable on the back over there. So when you first get it, you need to charge it up. Um, and then once you are ready to use your mask, you plug it into the bigger port, like so. You hold down this white button. Can you see that? It's a white button here. I think it's for like three seconds. 
One, two, three. There you go. And your mask will come on. It doesn't look super bright in the video, but it's like very glaring. Um, the excellent thing about this, obviously you would then put it on, is that, oh, and also it will turn green. And then when you need to charge it, it turns red. So that's super helpful. It's gonna turn it off because I don't wanna waste the battery. But what is super good about this, it is on a 10 minute timer. So you're only meant to use it for 10 minutes, five times a day. Um, and it automatically shuts off after 10 minutes, which I loved and I didn't know the first time because I didn't read the instructions. So I put a timer on my phone for 10 minutes and then it shuts off automatically. So that was a lovely surprise. So that's the mask. What else comes with it in the box is you get a little dust bag, which is very handy. Um, this is what you would store the mask in when you're not using it, if you didn't want to keep the box, basically. And it also comes with some protective goggles, which I have not used. Um, they're just like the ones you get when you go for laser therapy. And um, it does also say in the leaflet that um, it's been like proven and tested that it doesn't affect your eyesight at all. So these are just for personal preference. Like if you think it's a little bit bright or if you want like more of like a zen situation where it's like completely pitch black and you're using the mask but I don't use them because you wouldn't be able to see the TV then. After you've used the mask, you have to um, wash it. It says with alcohol wipes. I don't have any alcohol wipes. So I use like a damp cotton bud, uh, wipe it all over. And then I use like um, a cotton bud with a bit of soap on and then I dry it. And then that's it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't clean it every time. Probably like, maybe every other time um but i need to get better at that because i don't want it to give me acne but i will show you um like my first ex uh first experience no i think i was using it for like three weeks at this point but i was actually in my routine and a day that i was using it so i'll show you that now and then we can jump back and i can let you know if i agree with what it's meant to do and the results that i've seen excuse netflix in the background it's probably quite a good um resemblance of what I actually do though because I usually do it at around like nine like after I've had dinner and I put it on whilst I'm watching Netflix so what I do is I keep it stored in the bag when I'm not using it um so what I do is I get it out I plug the cord into the charging pod like a soul um and then it has a strap so obviously the strap is meant to go on these little bits here but i think the size of my head um it's like not a great position for me so i've just put it slightly up and then i attach it i attach it up there so it looks like that so first off i position it oh <laughs> Let me just get the Velcro undone. Okay. I position it and I Velcro it. Um, I then, you to turn it on, you hold the charging button, you hold it down, boom, and then it comes on. So it automatically switches off after 10 minutes. See you in 10. Oh, well that was good timing. Let me move you back to the normal position. So after 10 minutes, as you saw in that clip, it switches off automatically. Um, I actually think that it was less than 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure my battery just died. Uh, so I will, oh, I'll show you how I charge it. So I take it off, it, it gets like a little bit hot. I just think it's probably because it's hot in general, but so that like with the heat quite close by, I'm both a little bit hot afterwards, um, but that's fun. So this is the first time I've charged it and I've been using it for about three weeks, for about four days a week. So there you go, that sort of shows you how long it's gonna last. Um, but yeah, and then when I'm done, when I've cleaned it, I just put it back in the little dust bag that it came with. Just slide it back in like so. And I put pop all the, tie, uh, the cables in and voila and i then to be honest i've kept it in its box because it's a really nice pretty box so 
I've just been keeping it like this. But that is how um, I've been doing it. So, yeah. Okay, so would I recommend it? Do I think it's worked? This is like a luxury item. I think it retails, the white mask retails for about 515 um, AUD, which I believe is about like 250, 270 pounds. If you go to like laser clinics or to, um, what are they called? Spas to get this treatment done. I would definitely recommend it because in the long run, you're going to save yourself a lot of money because those sessions are expensive in themselves. For doing that, I would highly recommend investing in one of these because you'll just save yourself money in the long run. Um, now, I would say I can definitely see the difference um, with my skin tone and with like my firmness and like my plumpness. I know that sounds really weird. But every time I take it off, my my skin feels like like <laughs> like it's been plumped up a little bit. And when I use, I've noticed that when I use my retinol after using it, and I only do that like two times a week, the next morning my skin looks really really nice. It looks really plump and really smooth. So I'd absolutely say that for skin like plumpness and for your skin tone, it very much has like evened my skin tone out and reduced a lot of my redness. I will 100% say it's reduced my redness. I know that it's not meant to help, um, like the LED red light isn't meant to help acne, it's the blue light that's meant to help that. But I personally have found that I've had a lot less breakouts since using it. Now that may be, to, may be due to the, like um, how it promotes like cell turnover, like a, a lot like the retinol. Um, a lot like retinol is meant to do so that may be why like i don't think it targets active acne but it would help prevent you um having any new ones because i've definitely seen it i've definitely seen a difference but it's not listed on what it should do but it does it so the one thing that i would say that i'm like unsure about slash i don't know if i've seen any improvement is like wrinkles and i i just think that's because like I'm not very like aware of my wrinkles in the first place. That's one thing where I'm like, eh. And that kind of makes sense actually, because on the website it said that 35% of people see the reduced reduction of their wrinkles, whereas 95% of people who use it see the improvement of their skin tone. And I am one of the 95, and I'm not one of the 35. Um, so yeah, I haven't noticed the wrinkle situation. There are a lot of reviews on the website. So if you are considering um, purchasing an LED light, I would like, not even if it's this brand, like even if it's any other brand, I would highly recommend um, looking at the reviews. I think the reviews for current body speak very highly. There's like 300, I think it's like almost 400 reviews on their website of this mask alone. Um, and they're all over like four and a half stars. I was just having a flick through them and a lot of people have agreed with what I said, said that it really helped plumpen their skin, which in turn help wrinkles, but if you don't have any wrinkles, then it might not help you. Um, and also really helped even their skin tone and treat pigmentation, which is why I think that I feel like the redness for me has reduced. Um, so yes, I would highly recommend looking at the reviews if you are like on the fence with it because I feel like they'll probably just push you over the fence and be like, yes, yes, purchase it. The only one down thing I will say, um, and it's to do with the strap, I feel like it would be easier if this bit was separate and there were like tube straps to go like around the top of your head and the bottom of your head. And I think this is purely because my head's quite small. Um, so like, I find that like this this black strap sort of like sits down here and like slides down a little bit. Um, that being said, as I mentioned before, this is like very sticky, not sticky, but like it's like rubber, you know. So it doesn't slide down your face because it's very much firm on your skin. But I don't particularly like the sensation of like my forehead being like, like my forehead skin being pulled down. Um, I feel like if anything, that's gonna give me wrinkles. <laughs> so that may be something that they can think about in the future. I feel like two straps, two Velcro straps would be very, very handy. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if this has persuaded you to get an LED mask, then enjoy. And I hope it does wonders for your skin. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.